Ross, Associate Project Director uh, for Zombies in Spaceland. Zombies in Spaceland. Zombies now seems to be uh, becoming a Call of Duty staple, kind of regardless of which studio. Uh, what's it like taking on Zombies for the first time at Infinity Ward? It's been really exciting. Uh, Zombies is something that we all were really passionate about. Uh, we're a great co-op team. Uh, so stepping into Zombies was very natural for us. Uh, we wanted to bring some new stuff to the table and I think what you've seen in the trailer is exactly that. As Treyarch kind of started the Zombies kind of uh, sub mode within Call of Duty, do you guys have any sort of chats with them about it at all? Do you have much uh, communication with them? Uh, not really. Uh, while we love what Treyarch does, uh, we really took this on all on our own and we wanted to craft and mold this experience to be unique for Zombies in Spaceland. Uh, so when players pick up Infinite Warfare and jump into our, our game, uh, they really get a taste of something totally different. Were you kind of given complete carte blanche to do what you want then? Were you just like, give us a Zombies mode, go nuts, do what you like? I mean, you can tell from the trailer we went a little crazy, right? Uh, no ideas off the table for our team. So, uh, yes, carte blanche, we, we, we absolutely um, threw in everything that we possibly could, given time. Uh, and there are a lot of other ideas we would have loved to have gotten to, but uh, we ran out of time. So hopefully in, in future attempts, we'll get to that stuff. Yeah. Where did the 80s setting come from? Was that an idea early on that you kind of ran with, or did it kind of come in a bit later? I think we knew we wanted to travel back in time uh, to tell our tale. Uh, we didn't know exactly when, but kind of looking at various time periods, the 80s really resonated with our team. Uh, myself and a few other people, we, we kind of grew up in the 1980s, and so we have this nostalgic thought about it. And uh, when we, we started thinking about having fun and jumping into that time period, the theme park setting really, really just resonated to the top of our lists. Yeah. Uh, and combining the two just felt like it was the right thing to do. At what point did you get Hasselhoff on board? Um, was that a plan from the beginning again, or was that kind of like, this is an 80s thing, you've got to have you know, Hasselhoff in there? Well, for us, it was about finding iconic actors that could help us tell this story. Yeah. Uh, when we started sort of paring down our list, uh, everyone across the team just had David at the top of that list. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's one of the most iconic roles uh, in playing Michael Knight in Knight Rider yeah. in the 1980s, and so, for us, it was um, not only getting him in, but also getting Paul Rubens in. And so uh, it just felt like they were two blockbuster 80s characters that we wanted to, to bring to this experience. Did those guys kind of throw themselves into it? Did they understand what you were trying to do and kind of, you know, get on board? I think it was a really quick elevator pitch to them. Uh, we said 1980s, we said theme park, and we wanted to take this sort of depressing material, right? This like post-apocalyptic world that zombies sort of live in uh, but, and have fun with it, right? Uh, once we said that to them, they were super excited uh, and they're both super aware of the brand as well. So them being involved with Call of Duty, I think was a really exciting prospect for them. In uh, Advanced Warfare and uh, the Black Ops games, uh, there's kind of a tradition of getting celebrity uh, actors in to play the roles of the, the four survivors. Uh, that's not the case in this one. Do you know if you're kind of entertaining the possibility of maybe introducing celebrities in the DLCs, which undoubtedly I presume they'll be? So of course we have Paul and David. Um, yeah. They're not only lending their voice, but they're also lending their appearance as well. Um, but we do have four celebrity actors playing those roles, as our, our Valley Girl jock, nerd, and rapper. So playing the Valley Girl, we have Sashir Zamata. Mm -hmm. uh, playing our jock, we have Ike Barinholtz. Um, playing our rapper, we have Jay Farrow. And then playing our nerd, we had Seth Green. Ah, okay, all right. It's just the likenesses you don't have then. Correct. Right, okay, so they, they still lend their voices. That's cool. What kind of mechanics can we expect? Because obviously Zombies is famous for its Easter eggs and all these crazy secrets. Have you gone to town on that kind of thing? Absolutely. So we know the hardcore fan base loves digging into the Easter eggs, uh, but we also wanted to have stuff for people who are new to Zombies. Um, so there are Easter eggs that are kind of right in your face and easy to find and discover. Uh, but then there's also the ones that you're going to spend a lifetime looking for. You need community involvement and sort of everyone putting their heads together to figure out all the little pieces that put this puzzle together. What's the craziest thing that you've managed to get into uh, Zombies in Spaceland so far? 
Well, there's lots of crazy stuff we haven't shown yet, um, but stuff that's in the trailer that you can see, uh, we have some really cool weaponry, um, things that you won't find in campaign and you won't find in multiplayer. So I'll give you an example of one of those. Uh, we have a Spaceland Zapper called the Face Melter. And it's actually one of the quest items that you have to find and assemble. But when you do, when you shoot a zombie with it, they turn into a rocket, blast off, and explode into fireworks above the player. Was there anything that you kind of had on the drawing board that went too far that you just had to say, no, that's just too much? Absolutely not. No? We, really? we got pretty much all the really zany, crazy ideas in. And like I said, some of it, some of it was in the trailer, yeah. but there was a large portion of stuff that we didn't show yet. Zombies in Spaceland coming in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, November 4th, 2016.